How to stop watching porn after only three days. Hello, lovely YouTube family. Welcome back to Healthy Drops. Today, we're going to look at porn and how one who is an addict can quit the habit in a short time, like three days only. The effects. Many men are limiting their exposure to porn. Perhaps the research on how porn harms people and relationships are causing them to consider their habits. Perhaps they notice the link between porn and job loss, divorce reasons, and the skyrocketing erectile dysfunction rates in men under the age of 40. Or maybe they're just trying to be more conscious of the content they consume and reduce their carbon footprint for media that portrays men and women as unequal. The habit. If you're thinking about quitting porn, there are a few things you should know to prepare for the day when you want to quit. For some, it's easier to decide in theory but more difficult to do in practice. As the saying goes, the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak. Don't be alarmed. This is a normal reaction to repeatedly exposing the brain to certain content. If you've developed a compulsive habit or a porn addiction, here are some steps to help you quit. First off, understand you're not alone. The first step toward kicking any habit is getting out of a shameful mentality. Watching porn is one of those things that people don't often talk about and there can be a lot of shame wrapped up in it. One step toward getting out of an unproductive cycle is to realize you're not alone in your decision to stop. Listen to actor Russell Brand discuss a challenge to quit porn and follow actor Terry Crews' journey of overcoming his porn addiction, or read singer Andrea Assad on her own porn addiction and how it is not just a men's issue. Hearing stories from others who have experienced what you can can be an empowering reminder you're not alone in the fight. It doesn't hurt that they're famous and successful people sharing these challenges either. If lingering shame feels hard to shake, consider listening to Bren Brown's Men, Women, and Worthiness on audiobook to increase your emotional fitness for the road ahead. Install a good filter or accountability program. Along this journey, you're going to need to gain some self-control in the face of sexualized images everywhere, but that doesn't mean you can't give yourself some reprieve when you can. Download a filter or accountability program such as Confident Eyes on every device you use phone, tablet, laptop, work computer, and don't forget to put some safety controls on your TV as well. These will help you avoid gateways to binge sessions as well as find some space to focus on more important things like the next thing on the list. Read up on what you're up against. If you want to spend as little time as possible spinning your wheels, it's a good idea to start by gathering some good reading materials from experts. Dr. Patrick Carnes, a researcher, is leading the way with his book Facing the Shadows, which is intended to help men overcome compulsive sexual behavior such as frequent porn use. The Porn Trap The Essential Guide to Overcoming Problems Caused by Pornography by Larry Maltz and Wendy Maltz is another book that covers both the big picture and day-to-day -day helpful tips. Find the new drug developed resources for both men and women, such as Fortify, the fighter's guide to overcoming pornography addiction. Consider Matt Fred's delivered true stories of men and women who turned from porn to purity for a book that includes personal accounts from people who have overcome addictions. Join Fight the New Drug, no fap on Reddit and other online communities. Because there is an infinite supply of free content on the internet, it is likely that your habit became compulsive there. That does not preclude us from using the internet for good. Fight the New Drug is a website that provides resources and serves as a reminder of why you are undertaking the challenge. Another online community, NoFap, is named after its commitment to assisting members in avoiding pornography and masturbation. Join your local 12-step group. For many people recovering from frequent porn use, even more powerful than an online community is an in-person community. Don't worry, these are all based on foundations of anonymity. 12-step groups like Sexaholics Anonymous exist all over the country, often meeting in church basements and, for many, their essential elements to recovery. This in-person recovery group can provide a non-judgmental and safe environment to connect with others who are going through what you are or who have already come out on the other side. Get a CSAT Therapist For those who might want professional help to kick this habit, consider the growing body of reliable therapists that help patients overcome these challenges. Not to be confused with sex therapists, these are certified professionals who acknowledge the reality of sex addiction, which includes porn use. They can be identified by the letter CSAT among their credentials for certified sexual addiction therapist. Some big names across the country that offer intensive weekends are Doc Weiss in Colorado, Janice Cottle in Texas, and others. Keep getting back up again. Whatever your personal story, remember that what matters is not how many times we fall, but how many times we get back up again. If you've taken the strong step to stop porn use, you've already come a long way in making a change. 
And that's all for today, folks. Keep tuned in to this channel by liking and subscribing so you won't miss out on any of our uploads. Goodbye, and see you on the next video soon.